What's up guys? It's Tony Holiday. So a couple days ago, I put out my Kid Leroy emotional piano beat video, which you can watch right up here. But one of the things that I mentioned in there was the use of a MIDI transform hotkey. This is something that a lot of people asked about in the comments regarding that. And I was gonna make a YouTube short for it, but I think it's better if I do the long form video just to show you how everything works and get you set up with that. The MIDI transform function is something I use all the time in Logic, it's so useful. But the one thing that I really just like about it is A, there's no native hotkeys for it, and B, it's actually kind of difficult to set up hotkeys that you can use over and over again for it, which isn't even a bug, by the way. Logic acknowledges this, and they give you a little bit of a workaround for it, which is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So the main functions that we're gonna be using is the humanize function, which I use often, and then also the fixed velocity function. We're gonna set up hotkeys for those, so then we can use them globally in all our new projects from then on out, and we're gonna do that by setting up a template with those hotkeys saved. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, just stay tuned in the video and you'll see what I mean. Trust me, you're gonna to wanna to do this. It is so useful and so helpful long-term when it comes to producing beats. Let's get into the video. All right, you guys, so I just have Logic opened up here and there's just a simple chord regression with the Yamaha Grand Piano preset that comes with Logic. We're just gonna use this as a benchmark for us to actually perform the MIDI transform functions on. And I'll go over that in just a second. The two hotkeys that I primarily use of the MIDI transform are humanize function and fixed velocity. To access those normally, what you have is your chord progression based in MIDI or whatever based in MIDI, melody, bass, doesn't matter. You're gonna select them all by pressing Command A you're gonna to go to functions, MIDI transform, and then you can hit fixed velocity, humanize, or any of these other different MIDI transform functions. For this case, let's do the humanize. I think that's the one I use the most. So we'll click that. And then you have these different parameters here and you can do operate only or select and operate. So operate only will do it based if the notes are selected. Select and operate will select all of the notes that you are in the MIDI window for. I don't actually like to use this native humanize function. I like to do a bit of a simplified version. So I'll actually take the length and I'll go through and then I actually take this position down a little bit to like seven or eight and then I do operate only there. Now if we close this, you can see that all the notes have a slightly different velocities their position on the grid is a little bit different too like these are a little bit behind pardon me these are a little bit ahead this one's a little bit behind so on and so forth humanizing every single time doing that going select functions MIDI transform selecting this humanize then I have to go through the parameters it's too much work when you're in the zone and you're just making stuff you want just a quick humanize so we're going to set up a hotkey for this to kind of start over here what we're going to do is I'm going to do command a select all and I'm going to go to the fixed velocity just to get these back to the same playing field at 100 and I'll quantize this as well just so they're all nice and even so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to go functions MIDI transform, and we're gonna go humanize. Now from here, you're just gonna change the name of humanize. And for this sake, I'll call it simple humanize. And then as you can see, all these different parameter dropdowns come up again. I'll just take the length and I'll go through. I will drop this a little bit. And then I can hit this gear and go hide unused parameters. So we know it's just these two that are gonna be affected. Now, if you click these two arrows here, you can see that Simple Humanize has been created underneath all of the stock uh, MIDI transform functions. And there's also Create New Transform Set, Delete Current Transform Set. We won't worry about that too much for now. Let's just take note that Simple Humanize is in the first position here. We can close this if we go up to our Logic Pro menu and we go key commands, edit. And the word you wanna put in is transform. And you'll see this main window tracks and various editors. Apply transform user preset one to selected events. I have these ones down here, which is select and operate using transform user preset one. So it's just the two different parameters when you're in the MIDI transform function. I just like to select and operate because then if I don't have the notes selected, I can click it and it's gonna do all of them. No problem. So I have them set up here and it says user preset one, but we just put in that simple humanize function and that's gonna sit in position one of the user presets. Preset two I have here as well, which I've put to the V key. I put the H key for user one because it's humanized. The other one that I use a lot 
is fixed velocity. So for this one, what you would do is just go learn by key label, and then you go in here and you press H. It'll usually say something like this, keyboard shortcut already in use at a higher priority. This is used to toggle hide view in the main window, which is a higher priority than this. It's all good because when you're in the MIDI window, it's gonna assume the function that you're putting here. But when you're in the main window, it'll still do this toggle hide view. So you just go accept. I did the same thing for the V key and it's a similar process. V means something else when you're in the main window. When you're in the MIDI window, it doesn't have a function. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go close this up. We know these chords are all quantized. We know the velocities are all the same, but if I click H on my keyboard, it'll do the humanized function, the one that we set up, the user preset. So if I hit H, you can see that it selected them all. And if I click off, all the velocities are slightly different. The notes have been slightly moved from the grid. Well, let's say I wanna do it again. I can hit H again as many times as I want, and it's going to humanize it every time based on the parameters that I set in the simple humanize function. So this is awesome. Now that I make a chord progression, immediately wanna humanize it rather than going up to functions and that whole thing. I can just hit H and it's off on its way. I can do it as many times as I want. Command Z if maybe you did it too much and you wanna go backwards. So this is great. It saves us a ton of time, key commands, love it. However, if you go into functions, MIDI transform, you see our simple humanized one here. That will not save if we continuously start a new project. If I start a new one, this will not exist anymore. I'll actually bring up the Logic website here. This transform set now appears at the bottom of the presets list in all MIDI transform windows for this project. You should consider saving your transform sets in one or more template projects. This way, they're always available to you in all future projects. I don't know why they didn't just make it a globally saved thing that would save this headache. I just don't see the purpose in continuously erasing the user presets. However, they did say make a template project. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here. So let's do the second one as well, where it's the fixed velocity. So if we go functions, MIDI transform, and we'll go fixed velocity. And for this, we'll call it fixed velocity at 120. Let's say we want a high velocity 120. We wanna do that for all the notes. We can change this to fix for 120. We're gonna hide unused parameters. The only thing we changed is the value under velocity and fix, and we named it fix velocity at 120. And now if we go to this dropdown, you can see that it's in the second position, fixed velocity at 120, and simple humanize is still in the first position. We can close this up. Now remember in my key commands, I had the key command for the second position set to the key V. So what I'll do is I'll press V on my keyboard, and now all the notes are set to 120 velocity. I can humanize with H, I can set the velocity to 120 all across the board just by pressing V. And you can set up as many of these as you like. You can take these different MIDI transform functions, you can change different parameters and values to things that you use often and then set hotkeys for them. So when you're working in MIDI, it's so much quicker to just do something like that versus going in, changing the parameters every time. It takes way longer. This way you can stay in the zone, you can stay working, and it's going to work like this every time, provided you save this as a template and you always start a project with that template. This is the last step. Because we've set these key commands up and we've set these different MIDI transform user presets, we're gonna save this project as a template. So now from now on, we can always open up this project and we'll have those saved. So you're gonna go up to file, save as template, and we'll just call it MIDI trans tutorial for the sake of this video. We can save this. And now if we go new from template and we go close, you can see it's in this MIDI trans tutorial. If I open up a brand new project, if I hit V on my keyboard, you'd think it would go to 120. It does not. That's because we didn't open it by the template. If we go open uh, new from template, then we go to my templates, MIDI trans tutorial, random scattered notes, different velocities, different places on the grid. Now, if I press V, they're all gonna be 120 and I can press H and they'll always be humanized. All right, you guys, that was just a quick key command tutorial for today. However, something that I use literally every single time I open Logic, definitely set up some hotkey commands for MIDI Transform. I think it is super useful and I think you can make good use of it as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel as I'm always putting out cool new music production content. Give me a follow on Twitter and Instagram as well. I do post content there from time to time. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section down below. Happy to answer any questions down there as well. Thanks so much for watching you guys. This is Tony Holiday, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.